Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to Today Matters. My name is Jeremy. I'm the children's pastor here at Skyline. And, you know, a couple weeks ago, we decided to kind of switch things up a little bit in our kids' ministry. Instead of teaching a new Bible story like we would do on any other Sunday, we decided to press pause and actually take time to reflect on what God has taught us throughout the whole summer. You see, this wasn't like one of those review days where a teacher just wants a a break or they want a day off. No, we actually had something way more profound in play here. You see, we wanted to teach kids the value of remembering and celebrating God's faithfulness. See, if you've been going to Skyline for a little while, you probably heard us talk about the importance of rest, the importance of taking a Sabbath. And every time we talk about rest, it always comes with this message of like, you've got to recharge and you've got to take a day off so you can fill up your tank and go work some more the next week. That's sometimes how it can be received. I want to share a story from Joshua chapter 4, and it comes right after this amazing miracle that God performed. But I actually don't want to focus on the miracle. I want to focus on the people's response to what God did. Let's take a look at Joshua chapter 4, verse 4. It says, So Joshua called together the twelve men he had chosen, one from each of the tribes of Israel. He told them, Go into the middle of the Jordan River, in front of the ark of the Lord your God. Each of you must pick up one stone and carry it on your shoulder. Twelve stones in all, one for each of the twelve tribes of Israel. We'll use these stones to build a memorial. In the future, your children will ask you, what do these stones mean? Then you can tell them, they remind us that the Jordan River stopped flowing when the Ark of the Lord's Covenant went across. These stones will stand as a memorial among the people of Israel forever. You see, the thing on the other side of that mighty, dangerous flowing river was the promised land. What God's people could have done is keep moving forward because they were so excited about where God was leading them. But instead of getting caught up in that excitement over what's next, they decided to press pause so they could remember and celebrate the way that God had just showed up in their life. You see, not only that, they wanted to set reminders so that future generations could see God's faithfulness. Because here's the thing, when we see examples of God's faithfulness in someone else's life, it gives us hope for our own. Now, I've got a challenge for you today, right? As soon as this video is over, I want you to take some time to pause what you're doing. Now, before you head to work, before you do whatever you're going to do, take some time to think about the ways that God has shown up in your life. You know, all the time we bring our requests to God and we have these prayer requests, but we don't always think about the ways that God answers those prayers. Because sometimes God answers them in obvious ways, and sometimes he answers them in unexpected ways. And unless you take time to really think and reflect on that, you're going to miss a lot of the ways that God's shown up in your life. And so my encouragement for you today is to remember and celebrate God's faithfulness. Because when we remember the way that God showed up for us in the past, we're reminded that God can show up for us again in the future.